I feel very confident that if you printed this on a t-shirt and like a normal size, it would look really, really crisp, be very satisfying to the customer. And we've done all of this while saving a massive amount of time in the process. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple and effective method to upscale your AI images in bulk. This is a new feature within my designs and it's ideal for anyone who's got a ton of AI artwork to go through and wants to save time, essentially. Now, I will warn you, this is not a free Free tool. I haven't found a free way to bulk upscale images yet. If you know of any tools that can do that, please leave it in the comments down below. You can try out this feature for free. If you sign up to a free My Designs account via the link in the description, you get 20 free credits. And once your credits have run out, you can either purchase some individually, or if you sign up to a subscription with My Designs, then you get a certain amount of credits added to your account each month. So let's jump into My Designs so I can show you how to use this upscaler. Once you've created your My Designs account and logged into the dashboard, you will need to head over to the listings tab where you can then click on home right here to create a new collection. This is essentially the folder where you will upload your designs so you can use all of the bulk features of My Designs. So create a collection right here, enter a name that's appropriate. So in my case, I, I called the collection upscaler. The template, you can just use the default template. It doesn't really matter right here for upscaling and then click this green check mark. Once you've done that, select the folder from your menu and hit open over here in the top right corner. That should open up an empty folder for you. I've already got some images right here that I've uploaded. And the way to upload your own images is using this button right here, top right corner, click on the first upload option, and then you can drag and drop files from your folder, from your PC into this field right here and hit upload so it does it all in one go. Once all of your images have uploaded to your collection, you need to head over to this button right here. And if you click on this, you can select all of the images or you can select a range of images. So you could say from one to 24, for example. And I'm saying this because with the free My Designs account, you can only do 24 bulk processes at a time. So you might be limited right here if you've uploaded 100 images, you might not be able to do them all at once. Once you've selected your range of images, I'm just going to select all, you have to head over to the actions button. There's various different things you can do right here in bulk, but we're going to focus on the upscale image function right down here at the bottom. So click on that and now you've got a few choices. So the input, file slot will be default in most cases which is where essentially your well, your low resolution images are stored the output file is where we're going to save the upscaled images into. So here we've got with the with the default template, we've got a variety of product types. Now that might be confusing to you, but it doesn't matter. It's just a file slot. So in this case, I'm just going to select T-shirt one, then the upscale method. So you've got the option here between upscaling an image twice, so make it twice as big or four times is big and in both cases you're paying two credits you might as well just go for four times right so i'm going to select that right there you've got a number of credits down here which if you've got a free account that should say 20 for you but if you click on this as you can see it pops up with the options to also buy extra credits if you don't want to sign up to a my designs subscription if you're just using it for a bulk upscaler or like a bulk background remover it might not be worth the subscription fee if you're also already using it to sell print and demand products or uh, to sell digital downloads then your subscription might have some credits in there that you can now use to save extra time with upscaling your AI art. Once you're done with selecting all of these settings, just hit upscale image, then just hit continue. And now it's going to say at the top right here, processing 31 listings in this collection. And it's going to gradually go through them, upscale them, and then save them in this t-shirt one slot right here. We're going to double click on the t-shirt one slot, which is currently empty. But once it's done, we should see all of the images pop up here. So here we go, it's finished processing. And as you can see, now all of these images show up in the t-shirt one slot. And in order to now download these all in one go, all you have to do is head up to actions, then click on download as zip right here, and then select the file slot where you just save the images to. So in my case, t-shirt one. And if you click download zip, it's just going to take a few seconds to obviously zip this up and then you can download to your PC, right click on that zip file and hit extract 
all. So now that you've got them on your PC, you can look through these. Let's just have a look at a few examples. So in this case, it's done a really good job. Even if we zoom in really closely, um, this still looks very decent. Definitely a ton better than the, the default mid-journey images that it puts out. Now uh, this is a very sort of high quality photography style image. So uh, let's look at some other ones in a different style. I purposely tried to go through different styles. Here we've got anime, which um, if we zoom into this window. Again, the edges do look quite clear, even when zoomed in very, very far. So that's definitely interesting. This is one of my pattern designs from mid-journey. And once again, the result looks very, very satisfying. If you zoom in really, really far, it's always going to be somewhat grainy, but obviously a large scale, if you print this as in like an all over print pattern that repeats, you're going to get some really, really good results in real life. And if we look at this pumpkin graphic right here as well, and actually zoom into some of the details, I feel very confident that if you printed this on a t-shirt in like a normal size, it would look really, really crisp, be very satisfying to the customer. And we've done all of this while saving a massive massive amount of time in the process. If you want to learn how to sell your AI artwork as digital downloads, then make sure to check out this video next, where I walk you through my step-by-step -step process, which also includes saving a lot of time with my designs.